Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. In the last episode, we killed Quellog, and we left Quellon here all alone. I'm sorry, my fair lady. I'm gonna do... This is what this covenant is all about with the Chaos Covenant. You gather humanity, you give it to Quellon. Now, giving her 25 humanity will, off, will open up a very important shortcut later. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm just gonna keep it stored and then give it to her later. Are you prepared? Absolutely. Sure, why not? And you can purchase items from him. He's got, he's got a list that shows all the different people that are donating humanity. It's pretty cool. He can also upgrade um, pyromancer hands. There is no time for idle chat. Think only well. Your head looks awful. What? Uh, his dialogue just glitched a little bit. Don't worry about that. Something else entirely. All right, so this way is the way of the demon ruins. We don't need to go there yet, so we're not going to because it's not a friendly place. It's not a friendly place. You want to know how the if you want to know why the black knights are black? Just go ahead and go down there. And you'll find out. Lore. Anyway, we're going to head back out the way we once cameth. All right, now that we're back here, I'm going to explore the swamp in its entirety. We're going to try and get everything out down here so we don't have any reason. Actually, I shouldn't say that. There's going to be a reason to come back, but we won't have to worry about that for a little while, luckily. Get out. Get out. No one loves you. All right, we're going to start this way. There was something right here. I grabbed it while I was uh, traveling back and forth from one of the Quaylog attempts. Uh, go ahead and grab it. It's just, it was the soul of a proud knight or something like that. Nothing I really needed to explain or freak out about. Now, it's really dark over there, but if you can see, I just pulled a barbarian with a boulder. We're gonna kick his ass. He's a big, ugly brute. He's gonna do his little bowling ball maneuver. Also, note that I'm not really paying attention to the fact that I'm poisoned. I'm gonna get poisoned a lot down here, so I figure I'll just S this when I need to. I mean, why, why bother, right? Now, can you imagine if you could get the boulder as a weapon? That would be sweet. I would totally dig that. All right, now there's one more right there. Hey, big guy. Whoa, throwing one at me. He's gonna pull one out of the ground. Watch out for that roll. These guys can do a very large amount of damage, as you might expect from a goddamn boulder. But mostly they're pretty stupid. Get out of here. All right. Now would be a good time to Estus. Hell, you know what? Why not while I'm down here? Um, let's go all ninja. I mean, it actually isn't a bad set. Now I'm a ninja. I could use the, uh, uh, the, uh, Iaido. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I did take Japanese ones, but it was, uh, not easy to pay attention to that class. Let's leave it at that. Um, I could use the samurai sword with this and just make it even cooler, but number one, I'm a ninja. Huge difference there. And number two... It's not upgraded like the Balder Sword, and I'd like to keep my damage. But it should make it a little harder for us to get infected right off the bat. Infected. Poisoned. All right, now we got leeches. Oh, God, they're so gross, aren't they? Look how gross that is. Look how gross you are. These can be used to farm Titanite. They're very, actually, their drop rate's rather high with it, so feel free. Shit, mosquitoes everywhere. Go away. Not today. I don't want what you're selling. Gonna continue along the border of the swamp. God, this place is not hospitable, is it? I just give that a whack. Okay, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure. The hidden walls, man. They're everywhere. So we're gonna head way down here and grab whatever that is in the distance. As we kill these leeches. Come here. All right, our poison just died, so let's try and keep it that way as long as possible. He's got nothing for us. Man, I wish I had that rusted ring. I could just blast right through this. 
Rolling does make you go faster, but as a result, your stamina does get drained, obviously. So just keep that in mind. Try not to roll too much right into an enemy that you're scared of facing, because then you're going to show up and have absolutely no stamina to roll away with. There's a lot of leeches down this way. Ugh, God. You're ugly. Go away. Ugh. Try eliminating one at a time. Good plan, because there's literally like an armada. And there's an armada of them over here. Come on. Get out of here. I'm just going to shoot them with my bow. Why not, right? I don't use this thing enough. Boop. Okay. Grab some Titanite shards. Oh, get back on land. Still trying not to get poisoned. I do have 10 uh, Estus, which is good. I got it because I was uh, my last bonfire. My last bonfire was the last one that I kindled. And in addition, uh, the one next to Quellon, the fair lady, is also kindled automatically because she is a firekeeper, which means she's totally awesome. What the hell did I just? What the? There we go, that was bizarre. Just forget that happened, huh? Okay, continue moving around. God, there's just so many leeches here. I'm just about ready to take them two at a time. Let's see why not. They aren't too bad, I can just one-shot them. What are you guys all crowded around here for, huh? Now, I think they drop some sort of acid. If not, it's just poison. But if they drop acid, it might wear away the durability of your uh, your gear. Fun facts, actually. The uh, oh shit, get out, get out of the door. Okay, fun fact: the uh, puke that the gaping dragon shot at me was actually not poison of any kind. It would, it was, ac it was acidic. It would have taken away my durability, which is just kind of interesting. Oh, oh man, cutting a little close, aren't I? that. Large Titanite shards are a good thing to farm because they can be... I actually don't know if you can buy them, and if you can, they're bound to be expensive. Zit! Worm! Leech! Gimme! Woo! Five green Titanite shards! Well, I'm gonna have no problem upgrading a... any sort of magical weapon. Alright, I'm poisoned. Might as well just accept it. Come on! Now, I'm going to show you something that I'm not interested in exploring yet, because I don't know anything about it, and that scares me. Also, I'd like to learn a little bit before I go charging in there on what's supposed to be partially a walkthrough. But if we head up here, I found this on my first playthrough, and I was too scared. <laughs> and it's because there's basilisks. But you come up here, and there's this. You're like, oh, that's cool, plank shield, that's fantastic. Freaking stop poison. Plank shield's pretty cool. Plug, plug, plug. There's no way this is all that's up here. Whack this wall. And we got a treasure chest. Ah. Don't. There's no reason why I hit that treasure chest. Don't worry. No reason at all. Twin humanities. Very cool. And at first I was like, oh, let's leave. Well, you know, maybe I should just do this. Yeah, they actually hit a second illusory wall. Behind the first illusory wall. But down here is the Great Hollow, followed by the Ash Lake. I've never experienced these areas, nor do I plan to right now. It's a sidetrack that I don't want to get on just yet. I think I'm going to save it for much later. You are more than welcome to, but it is not my cup of tea. Give me that. Ah, barnacles. All right, well, I've been poisoned. I'm going to just, because I changed zones, did all the leeches respawn? No, luckily not. Okay. Let's just head along the other side. Sorry if this is taking a while. Actually, you know what? I'll meet you guys back at the bonfire. Alright, we're back at the bonfire, and now, guys, it's time to go home. It's time to get out of this wretched place and go home. What do you say, huh? By home, I mean out of Blighttown. Anywhere but Blighttown is home, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get out of this horrible place. Kill some crag spiders, and you take this pathway up. 
Give me one second. All right, guys. While I was going through in my rush, just across from this, I missed this right around this corner. This, this, this. Right here. I'm going to pick up the Pyromancy, Poison Mist, and the Pyromancer set. I knew I missed something. I didn't want to leave without without everything. Because, you know, Blight Town. All right, I'm going to run back to the bonfire, and then I'll meet you back where we were. Okay, where were we? We were about to ascend the giant happy wheel of doom. First, we're going to go this way. Now, there is a section up here that I'm not a fan of, but I'm going to do it because, you know, I love you guys. And, uh, yeah, lots of toxin shooters. Four, to be exact, and I believe seven flaming doom dogs. So, obviously, you want to be careful here. Try and get off. Try not to fall. It's a little wonky. It, 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 you might fall. And if you do, then you're going to die. But you're going to be pretty... Is he lying or is that an actual thing? I'm pretty sure he's full of it. Oh, shit. Come on. Leave me alone. You couldn't help it. You had to say goodbye, huh? You had to say goodbye. Jesus Christ. I, was ne I never liked you. I'm trying to see if there's something down there, but... I actually don't quite believe it. Okay, guys. I'm missing about four or five items in this area, but I think I know where they are. I know I'm going to have to cross some sort of tree branch. So we're going to work our way to the item that I know where it is, and we'll probably spot what I need along the way. We're going to head through here. Sorry about all the jumps and whatnot. Might as well name this episode the Exit of Blight Town. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. Get your head out of the way so you can move. Look at this. Look at this prick. 20 bucks. Yeah, I should have known. Damn, this is going to be uh, difficult. Okay, no. I'm close enough that I can... Oh, you son of a bitch. You moved back. You son of a bitch! You're a smart bastard. Fall off or something so I can laugh at you and then murder you horribly. So then I'm going to take care of these other two. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. In case you weren't already aware of it. Oh, boom! One down. We make it two. Well, I haven't had to use any Blooming Purple Moss yet. Okay. Still being safe. God, I hate these guys. Oh, come on. That was so a hit. Okay. I need to wait for this. I'm going to kill him in a moment. All right. He actually got me, which was not so good. Um, but now... My meter reset. Where did he... He dropped down? Really? Are. I'm gonna blast you in freaking. I'd say hell, but we're already there as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Alright, we're almost done murdering things there. This freaking guy right here! need to find a way to hit him. Alright, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to ignore him for now. We're going to cross this tree branch. Which is where a lot of the stuff that I need is. Hello, crack spider. This is Sparta. This is Sparta. Sparta. Damn it. Okay. Kind of took some unnecessary hits there due to the camera angle. Let's pick this up. The sealer's stuff. Now, the sealers are really cool. We haven't met any of them yet. But that was one of three. The last one's pretty cool, but... That was one of three. We'll meet both of the others eventually. Now, the Sorcery Remedies Remedy is really good because it's like a... It's a cure. It's like you don't need moss. You can just use the Sorcery Remedy however you need to be a sorcerer to use that properly. Which I am certainly not. I am nothing but a miracle worker. I make it sound so humble, don't I? Hey! Get out of here! Alright. Anything else? 
boss. I'm just being super, uh, super thorough. I know where I need to go, but what is... You can't take this? It's a dead end, dude. There's not much to take. It's okay. It's okay. You can relax. Oh, there we go. There's my beautiful view. I'm gonna wreck you. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Oh, crap. Come on, a little lower. Doink! Get out of here. You stupid, stupid fool. Okay. Now we're gonna head over there. So we can actually, you know, get the stuff that's over next to all these poison guys that I've been shooting. Clearly there's something of worth there because that's three so far and I know there's at least one more poison shooter. He'll probably get me. Because I don't know where he is. But, you know, whatever. So we're gonna get up there. Find a ladder. Guessing it's gonna be right around here. There we go. Just about done finding stuff, which is nice, because then I can leave this despicable place. Now up is the exit, but I'm going this way. Where are you, final poison guy? Falling down is a bad thing. There are a lot of dogs, and they will gang up on you. There he is. I think I'm just going to bum rush him. Sup? 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 How's it going? You're very dead. Get off. Okay. Oh, there's more. There's actually a fifth. You can hear him shooting. Oh, he's way back there. Okay. We're gonna go this way and pick this up. Soul of a proud knight. We still have not found our prize down here. We're working on it. I'm gonna just charge this guy like the bamf that I am. Get out! God, they're so weak once you get to them. You can just laugh in their stupid little faces. I'm looking for this item. This very important item. I think it might be on the ground somewhere, but if I'm going to go down there, I'm going to clear it out first. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Maybe over there. All right. I'm going to start shooting these guys. I'll be back. I'm having a hard time shooting these guys, but I do see my prize. Um, I might just wing it. Hell, why not, right? Freaking Geronimo, bitch. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up the Firekeeper's soul. That is what we are here for, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. This entire episode is pretty much like going to be titled Leaving Blight Town, which is basically the happiest title I've ever given anything. <laughs> so up, up, up we go. Now, you can leave the way that you came, but I consider that completely ludicrous because that's a lot longer. You have to go back through the depths backwards, and then you have to freaking... You have to go up Blight Town, which just sounds like total hell. Now, let's grab this. And give me just one second. Sorry about that, getting a phone call. I gotta go work soon, but I wanted to actually play Dark Souls some more. Now that I'm almost done with Blight Town, I'm gonna be wanting to play this game non-stop. Alright. So we got the New Londo Ruins. Now, we don't know anything about New Londo. Well, I haven't shown you anything about New Londo. But, it's a horrible place. Another not favorite area of this game, definitely. Damn, I hate how long they can just sit there not taking damage. Like, they have a very long time where they're in, like, this this state of invulnerability while they're getting up or something like that. Like, when you backstab. All right, there's two of them up ahead, so let's just blast this one in the face. Come to me. Oh, shit, maybe I did pull both of them. All right. If you want to fight, you got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, one thing I accidentally didn't do in the last episode was I didn't say anything about the big-ass pyromancy fireball that I got from Quillon, the fair lady. It's, I believe it's Quillon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the correct, the correct, the correct pronunciation and name. And, okay. Done with that guy. The Great Chaos Fireball, the one that I got from her, is really strong. It leaves kind of a, a lava effect on the ground, too, similar to Quillog's spider spit. 
Um, most importantly, it gets stronger the more humanity you have on you. I believe it stops at 10 humanity, but still, that's a pretty cool feature. That's actually a feature with a lot of fire stuff in this game. Would you shut up? Nobody wants to hear that. Just give me two hands. I'm going to wail on the curve for this guy. Get out of here. Boop. Dunk pie. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. So we're going to head through here. And if you start with the master key, you can actually enter Blight Town from this direction. You don't ever even have to set foot into the depths. However, you really want the large ember, so hopefully you do. I'm going to quickly head this way and just grab a little bit of loot. I don't really... I don't plan on doing any completion here. Actually, there's no loot this way, so... Never mind, I lied. I'm a liar. What can I say? We're going to head back. The Valley of the Drakes is somewhat of a crossroads. There's a lot of... You can pass through here with a lot of different places. Like, there we go, grab that. And right here, we use that key to the New Londo Ruins. You can also get through with the Master Key. If we head down... Here are the New Londo Ruins. Now, if you explored a little bit when you first started, you recognize this place. And right now, you're going, what? Oh, man, look at this guy just chilling. Look at him just chilling. Look at him just dead. Okay. Now, if we head down here, we never talk to this man. Hmm? This is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Ricky of Vinheim. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Talk to him one more time. Hmm? What is it? What is it? Have you? Oh, no. Don't worry. I have no intention of escaping. It's safe here. Can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what may be the best in Vinod. Rickert is a blacksmith. Now, you can access guy, this guy immediately from the start, and... He will turn your weapons into magic weapons using Green Titanite. Now, magic weapons go with intellect, not with faith, so I'm not interested. However, it's still pretty cool. Now, he can't do plus 10, at least as far as I can see right now, but I'm going to upgrade my Iaito. Iaito. As much as possible, because I want to use that, actually, over the Balder Side Sword. Now, a lot of people will disagree. Even I kind of disagree, but... I feel like mixing it up a little bit for you guys, and I like samurai swords, what can I say? Alright, anything else you got for me? He's got some soul magic and a catalyst, but not much else. Goodbye then. Keep your head on up. You really help break the monotony. It's your fault for sitting in a cage. Why don't you go out and, like, do something? Be a badass, fight some things. Now, while we're down here, I'm going to grab a few items, but I'm not going to go much farther than that because this place is cursed. No, really, it's cursed. An S-Talk, which is a fantastic weapon. It's similar to a rapier, but it has some slashing, which makes it infinitely superior, in my opinion. Come right here, get some Transient Curse. Transient Curse is incredibly useful in this next area where I could be going, but definitely not. Um, it fakes a curse. Now, we, we know what cursing does. It cuts your health in half as long as you have it, but... It also allows you to attack ghosts, which the area in that direction is filled with ghosts. So without a curse, you can either go in there being cursed, but that brings you to half health, which is obviously a disadvantage, or you can use a transient curse, which is like, a, it probably lasts for maybe 10 minutes. I'm not actually sure on the length, but it will help. Now we're gonna pull this. Wait just a couple seconds. I wish we had badass elevators like this. Hello? Take a step. And up we go at high speeds. A ninja. A ninja! I am a samurai, but I'm not a ninja. And if you recognize the music, then you know where we are. All things return to fire. 
Fire Link. <coughs> Almost choked on my own death. Now, something's gonna be wrong when we turn this corner. Lautric is gone. The Firekeeper is gone. And her clothes are here. She appears to have been killed. And there's a black eye orb here as well. She's dead. Now, one can only assume, because Lautric was creepily sitting right here staring at her, Lautric has killed the Firekeeper. For why, we do not know. But... Hello, Crestfallen Warrior. Let's see what you have to say now that I've rung both bells. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Now, what the hell is he referring to? We'll find out soon. If you see this... There's no firekeeper. This bonfire is useless. If we died right now, we'd go all the way back town, down into Blight Town. Hello, Laurentius. Well, I see you made it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swarm, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I love this guy. Be He's so nice. You. Listen to uh, him. Unless you find the magic's unsavory. No, not at all. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Yes, we now have a pyromancy a flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. I like his voice a lot. But if we go right here, he has some pretty cool uh, pyromancy. So we're gonna grab some. I'm thinking right here. Some combustion. We could get a fire orb, but it's a little expensive. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delve into this too much. Pyromancy can be pretty strong and I'm trying to be relatively good. Uh, let's upgrade a little bit. Why not? So at least it's competent. Alright. Pyromancy plus four. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Will do. Now we would use the bonfire to Oh what the hell is that? Disgusting is what it is. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Wind, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Yes. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Now, that might be a whole lot of gibberish to most of you. I am pleased to see you well. But to me, it, it means a lot. Urgent? Now, he'll eat stuff, and he turns it into other stuff. But most importantly, he is the closest thing you have in this game to a merchant. If you have doubles, or these coins, for instance, bam, boom, 1,000 souls. Makes a disgusting sound. We won't worry about that. You can also feed him these. I'm not going to. You can also feed him these. Not going to. Now, if you have duplicate weapons. Oh, look. Look at all these long swords. Not anymore. <laughs> He's like a trash can, but disgusting. You know. Makes sense. So I'm just cleaning house a little bit. Um, it's a good way to get some extra souls. There are some things you can sell to him that are actually really... You'll get a high amount of souls for them. But for the most part, that's it. I just didn't want those in my inventory anymore. Farewell. Chosen undead. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frampt wants us to succeed Lord Gwyn. Now, Lord Gwyn was the one who took the Lord Soul, and he had lightning bolts, and he peeled the scales back from the dragons. It was all badass. <gasps> What's going on over here? God, I keep getting distracted. I keep trying to tell stories. Just look up the lore. Watch, like, Epic Name Bros videos or something. Anyway, hello, Petrus. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. What else do you have to say? I know oh, you do have something else hello. to say. 
miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. There's more. There's more! An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. Just like a real church. He wants my money, but I don't have any. I'm afraid that may be difficult, for our missions are sacred. All right. Well, Come again. we want information, and we're desperate, and we have a lot of these souls just sitting in our pockets, so I say we just pop one. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe. Maybe. We pay this guy. We figure out what the hell is going on. Why are all your friends here? Oh, what are you doing here? Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates. But I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. They're a little strange. Rhea is the Okay, so that's all he has to say to us now. I think I totally botched it, but whatever. Let's talk to these guys. And that's all he will say. Forever. Don't worry about it. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. You sound like freaking Hobbit, you know that? I'm gonna roll right here. Sorry, lady. You are undead as well. And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. She's pretty quiet. Anyway, they're going to go on an adventure down into the catacombs to find kindling, which is the art of putting humanity into the fire, which totally doesn't make sense to most of you, but some of you, you know what's going on. I'm really not taking a lot of time to explain because the lore of Dark Souls is incredibly deep. Incredibly deep. Incredibly deep, and if you were interested, do some research on your own. Although it will give you spoilers, I'm sure. Maybe you should play the game through first on your own. If you don't care about spoilers, go ahead, just go watch them. I'm gonna run straight through here. Back to our good old friend Andre. Hi. Hi, don't worry about me. Hi. Uh, uh, God, I'm so fat. I'm a ninja though, so it's cool. Ninja, 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 ninja. Ninja, ninja, ninja. Ninja. Okay. Now down there is our next home. That's where we will be going next. And let me tell you guys, Sen's Fortress is one hell of a good time. I'm going to spend a bunch of souls. I'll be back. Alright, I've now got my endurance to 30, which I believe is where I'm going to cap out. I don't think I'm going to get any more endurance. Which, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, what level am I now? Level 42 or something like that? Something... Something fancy. Something sweet. Yeah, 42. All right. Well, in the next episode, we're going to head into Sen's Fortress, and it's going to be fun. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm done with you people.